<clears throat> What's up, Solid Mike? Uh, this guy, two for two, uh, the Tennessee Whiskey and Iris, fantastic covers, fantastic performance, great performances by the musicians as well. And let's do Take Me to Church. This one I don't know by Ho Hosier? Hosier? Hos Hosier? Don't know, but yeah. The guy has been really, just really, really good. And uh, I also, if I can take a moment to be honest, I, like, for some reason, I have some aggressiveness inside me. And I'm hoping that just, like, listening to some nice music will uh, diffuse that aggression. I ain't even mad at nobody. I just, like, for some reason, like, I feel like if I stubbed my toe on a bed, I would, I would yell at the bed. How dare you, bed? What are you doing here? You know, or you open the fridge and... You knock a bottle over in the fridge, the, the ketchup or the hot sauce falls over, and you like yell at the hot sauce bottle. It's like where I feel myself mentally. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, you, you know, 20 or 30 seconds of music, and we're, we're done with that. My love has got humor. Sister giggle at the funeral. Lost everybody. Oh, I was going to say immediately, those were actually were really dark chords, really reminiscent of a funeral. And then he said funeral, and then as soon as he said funeral, they changed the major. Oh, now it's back. No, it's it is very much like a funeral march. It's a fast funeral march. Who am I thinking of? Not Rachmaninoff. Maybe Chopin. Maybe. But really fast. Fresh poison each week. We were born sick. You heard them say. I chose to test me worship in a bedroom. The only heaven I'll be sent to is when I'm alone with you. Mm. I was born sick. I don't love it. Command me to be well. Amen. 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 I feel like it's immediately gonna go right back to minor. It has no choice. So that amen, amen, amen was like a moment of happiness, both with the melody and the chords and the lyrics. But then I feel like we're immediately have no choice but to go back to minor. Let's see, am I right? Take me to church, I worship like yeah. a dog in the shrine of your lies. I tell you my sins so you can sharpen your knife. I've made the night because that good God. It's super minor. It's super, the chords are super minor, super sad. It's like, if I'm hearing it right, it's like minor, minor, dominant seven, minor, minor, and then like a descending walk down back to minor. So it's very much anchored in minor, you know, sad key. Ooh, tell you my sins so you can sharpen my knife. What, is that what he said? I'll be vulnerable to you. And me being vulnerable to you gives you more evidence against me in the future. <laughs> Fine looking high horse. These are clever lyrics, but I'm not catching all of them. You got in a stable with a lot of starving faithful. That looks like starving faith. Damn. I might need to like look up these lyrics. I don't know. That's so clever. Starving faithful. Right? People that are loyal and they're starving. So maybe their loyalty is not giving them what they need. That looks plenty. This is how we interlude bridge kind of the same thing there is no sweet
Actually, I call it an interlude. I'm not really sure what the difference between an interlude and a bridge is, to be honest. They're very similar to me. I think a bridge kind of connects you to somewhere else, hence bridge. Whereas an interlude, I would define as a temporary departure from the music. It's, an, it's like a, it's like an off place. Um, and the chords here and the melody here are a decently big departure from the other A, B structure of the chorus, verse, chorus, verse. This is like a temporary island in the middle of the song. Back up. That I'll check the scene in the madness and so Right now we have a slower descent on the uh, bass line. It's actually kind of the same descent we heard earlier, but it's at like half speed. Amen. Oh, and back to the amen part. That's an interesting way to go. I do want to pat myself on the back. I'll tell you my sins so you can sharpen my knife. Uh, it was such a clever lyric, you know, when I first heard it. Turns out it was so clever, it's been reused as the chorus. Also, that four, if I'm counting correctly, that, that fourth time he did sharpen your knife, he phrased it differently, which is cool. I mean, if you're going to have the same type of uh, structure come around and around and around and around, it does make sense that on the third, fourth time that you would phrase it differently because the you've already said it, sang it, performed it, the audience has already heard it, and it makes little sense that now that they've heard it, for you to have a little alteration there just to keep people on their toes. And I do want to look up these lyrics for a second. Take me to church lyrics. Just to kind of see what I might have missed. Um, oh, wait. Uh, how about over here? Take me to church lyrics. Oh, my lover's got humor. She's a giggle at a funeral. That's almost like rap pacing. Quick setup, punchline. One line setup, punchline. Knows everybody's disapproval. I should have worshipped sooner. Oh, that makes sense. Knows everybody's disapproval. Yeah, the person he's talking about is used to... Or maybe he's used to... It could be either one. It used to the other person's disapproval, which means I should have worshipped sooner. To avoid the disapproval, right? If the heavens ever did speak, she's the last true mouth speak. That almost seems like sarcasm. Also funny. So we've got three punchlines and six lines. Every Sunday is getting more bleak or fresh poison each week. I, I still call that a punchline. Uh, these next two. Oh, worship in the bedroom. Yeah. Wow. So anyways, a bunch of punchlines and setups. Uh, maybe there's four lines in there for a payoff, but it's almost like one line setup, one line punchline, or one life. If you don't want to think of it as, as comedy, one line setup, one line delivery. Because it could be delivery on something sad or introspective. Interesting, interesting. Anyways, I'm not going to waste your time with that. That's really great songwriting. I don't, I've don't. i never heard the original. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Anyways, these, these lyrics don't ring a bell, but maybe if I heard the original, I'd be like, oh, I do know that. But anyways, uh, I guess we're here for him and his performance, and it, it was solid. Three for three. Three for three. Delightful.
Amen, amen, amen. I will say that is very clever. The amen, amen, amen. Not, not only was uh, a different, like, happy chords. I actually want to go back to that part. I want to see if it actually is the church cadence. How do I get back to that? Where's amen, amen? Where is it? Dang it. Where is it? Pre chorus. Can you be well? Let's back up then. Okay, so it's right, it's right before this. So it goes, I think it goes 1, 4, 1, 5, but the 1, 4 to 1 is actually called a plagal cadence, which is, which is, uh, it is the church cadence. What chord is it? Da -dum. It's like, that's not the right key. Oh, I guess I'm not quite in tune, but it'd be like. No, wait, was it four to one twice? Command me to be well. Oh, it had a minor substitution, which would probably be the six chord, which is what? G E flat, E minor? That's actually the church, like for the last couple hundred years, that is the Amen cadence. Amen. Or whatever, how are you going to sing top of that? And then the minor chord is the substitution. Whoops. You get it. You get it. I don't think I have to find the actual chord. Oh yeah, over here. Right, so. So but it's, it, it is the amen. So the actual amens, amens are on the chords that you would normally say amen to if you grew up in a, you know, a Southern Baptist church or something. I don't know about Catholicism. Definitely like Presbyterian, Methodist, non-denominational, Baptist, uh, for the last couple hundred years, that, that uh, four to one. Amen. So that's, a, that's pretty clever use of that. And the fact that it's the only moment of, of major happiness. Everything else is soul-wrenching minor sounds. Pretty fantastic. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna say for a dude who's very tired, probably pretty dirty, probably need to take a shower, and has kittens vomiting rainbows. I think I, I think I nailed the at least the musical analysis. Maybe the reaction's boring, but I think on the fly, I think I did all right on that. Sometimes you just, you know, you gotta high five yourself. Because maybe, you know, if you don't say something nice to yourself, you might go a whole day with no one saying anything nice to you. So we all got problems, but man, feel free to say something nice about yourself.